A month ago, I made a video announcing that I was leaving YouTube for an indefinite amount of time and I'm finally back. So I wanted to go over why I decided to take a break and how I'm feeling now. I wanted to make this video before I started regular content because in my eyes, I felt like it was appropriate. So let's take a trip down memory lane and see why I wanted to take a break. I mentioned that I wasn't feeling my true self in my videos and I had done some digging in my past videos from the past 10 years. This year I did set out to try to grow my channel and be authentic, more authentic because I always was. Moving forward, I definitely want to keep going on that path and do searchable content. The next thing that I set out to do was to find my why. I think I have an idea of what it is. I've been writing sentences, gathering my ideas, so I did come up with something. I don't have it with me now. It definitely is helping me with the direction that I want to go in. And with making content, you definitely have to do a lot of behind the scenes work, which was basically what I did this whole month, a lot of self-reflection. Before it felt like there was never enough time to do that, there was never the right time. So I had a long four weeks to do all that thinking because I wasn't thinking about making videos. So I think I succeeded in that mission. Another experiment that I should say I ran um, was to see if certain people in my life would reach out to me. And my hypothesis was correct. I did mention that I wanted to see people more in my personal life and I did do some of that. I did some things that I hadn't done in a while like other hobbies, sewing, selling things online which I have been doing. So I did do a lot more things that I always felt like I had no time to do. But I also realized that I can't beat myself up for not seeing people. These are weird times we are living in right now so I just needed to like stop being so down on myself because we're all going through stuff and this is just how life is right now so it's fine. This hair is weird and it's too curled right now. I feel like I'm living seven years in the past with this hair. This is not the plan. Now let's talk about what I realized during this past four weeks. So the first thing is that I've been living in the past. I said that I wanted to get back to who I was before I started making YouTube videos, which honestly, I was 18, 19 years old. Like, who was I going back to? And I was clinging on to this idea I had in my head about who I was. And I don't think that was right because that further leads to you know, self-doubt and confusion about who you are, but you're really thinking about who you were. Well, I was thinking about who I was and it did nothing for me. It only made me reminisce and dream about things that, sure, I was interested in, but you have to be interested in something enough to want to make the time for it. So I did do a little bit of those things, but I realized that me not making YouTube videos was further digging myself into a hole because I realized how much I love it and I missed it so much. As soon as I pressed upload within the next couple hours on that video, I started getting comments and these sweet comments that instantly made me regret my decision. And I was like, what have I done? <laughs> so I was starting to regret my decision to leave and I had to rein myself back in and remember why I was taking this break. And even for the week after that, I was daydreaming and constantly thinking about YouTube, but knowing that I initially made the decision to not make videos. But here I was still in that mentality of thinking about content and what I'm gonna do when I come back. And that really said a lot because it uh, was my creativity trying to shine through and I've probably said to you that YouTube is a creative outlet. Me not having YouTube meant that I wasn't using my computer. I wasn't using my iPad for creative things. I wasn't editing pictures and doing all these things that fire up that creative side of my brain. I also wanted to see if I would spend less money on products, which I did not do. It actually kind of had the opposite effect, but I can't really track that because there are you know, things in your life that you want to bring in. Like for example, we are expecting a new rug for the living room. I've been planning on buying a rug, 
but I finally bit the bullet, if that's the right phrase, and ordered one. So stuff like that. One negative thing that I experienced with not making YouTube videos was that my impulsive behavior for looking at items online increased. So I was constantly on my phone and my iPad too much, not constantly, but I was on there too much and it wasn't good. I really noticed it after about two weeks and I was like, this is too much. I was even on Instagram on the explore page and impulsively going to Pinterest and checking my apps on YouTube in the home page and the explore and seeing what YouTube would recommend to me. And I was bored. I did find a show that I watched in two days, but I really was trying to fire up something in my brain that I didn't have. And um, I'm just excited to get back to that. I also learned that having responsibility and routine is so important to me. And without the responsibility of having my channel and taking care of it and bringing fun content for you guys to watch and for me to create, I very easily let things that I care about slip, like health and exercise, just stuff like that, leaving my house, because all of a sudden there was too much time for me and I couldn't figure out how to prioritize the things that I cared about because it just felt like there was so much time. And yes, I know this seems like a crazy, Thing to be talking about having so much time because before I know I complained about not having enough of it but it's just what happened with that being said I'm really excited to move on for the future when I start making YouTube videos I will actually feel like I'm taking care of myself because nurturing my creativity was very important and I am so ready to jump in so this feels like a new beginning and I hope you guys are excited for the journey to watch and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!